Hello everyone, welcome back to Nigerian View. So guys, we have a lot to talk about today concerning the cold war between Supreme Area Confraternity and Supreme Vikings Confraternity right there in the city of Agbo, also in Delta State. But before I start, I quickly want to point out something because a lot of people and they were trying to mix up what happened in Agbo to what happened in Wari, both are in Delta State. But I just quickly want to point out that these two incidents, they are separate incidents, they are not related at all. But the groups that are involved are Supreme Area Confraternity and Supreme Vikings Confraternity. So, with that out of the way, let's discuss what is going on in Agbo right now. The court war between these two groups have escalated and two more people have been brought down between the day before yesterday and yesterday and also stay around because there is a voice note that has went viral that i want to share with you and the voice note is very intense so stay around if you want to hear what the person said in the voice note so for those that have been following this platform for quite some time now you will remember the last time i spoke about this i told you guys that this started because of a girl but after that i received a lot of message and people told me that while they were trying to ease the female issue another problem came up and this one started in the ghetto and this is why the whole thing escalated so when i talk about ghetto in these videos is a place where they sell weed for people that don't understand and to be sincere up to 60 to 70 percent of the confraternity wars that are currently going on in nigeria right now started from the ghetto but let's continue so after this escalated a young man was brought down as explained on my previous video so after this there were a lot of police in town trying to restore peace they started making arrests you would expect this problem to be reduced since there were police everywhere but it didn't really work so two nights ago the young man that you are currently seeing on your screen was brought down at college junction this man is said to be a member of vikings and he was brought down by some young men who are members of A. And it is also said that this young man is originally from Calabar. He is not an indigenous of Agbo, but he is a confraternity member in Agbo. And the picture that you are currently seeing on your screen right now is when the police came to pick the young man. I covered the place where he is because of YouTube, but these pictures are going to be posted on my WhatsApp later. So, the reason that I am showing you this picture here right now is for you to know that there are police everywhere in Agbo and this young man still finds space to put heat, which is crazy to me. So, I asked one of my viewers, how come police is around everywhere and these young men are still pulling heat? And this is what the young man told me. You can't blame them. He was talking about the police. These boys work with time and police can't be in one place for 24 hours and killing don't take up to 5 minutes. He actually said in less than 3 minutes, this young man can be done with what they are doing and they will leave the scene immediately. So let's go back to the story. So after the Vikings member was brought down, then Vikings retaliated last night. So the young man that you are currently seeing on your screen was brought down last night and he is said to be by the name of Godaro. He is said to be a member of Eye and was brought down as a retaliation. So you will notice a similar thing between these two young men that were brought down. They were brought down at night. So my question is, why are these young men working at night? When they know that there is war in the community where they live in and they also know that they are members of the group that are at war. So this is what I can't really wrap around my head. And the audio that I am going to share with you, when you hear this audio, you will know that these young men are not even joking around. So why are people still working at night? This is what I really don't understand. And what is the benefit of being a confraternity member again? Because you can see how life has been snatched away from these young men that are full of life. And has people ever wondered how the parents and the loved ones of these young men are going to feel. So let's talk about this voice note that I want to share with you. And I am sure that most of you might have heard this voice note because it has been going viral for the past two days. And the young man in the voice note sounds very pissed. And the young man don't seem to be a fan of the anti-cultism group at all. So let me play the voice note for you so you can hear. 
Baba, any agbo rema, any agbo youth on anti court. When chase any a year man, Mona Kim Pekin, killing wife. Mona killing brother. Na ye de rule. Anybody, any agbo rema, or agbo youth, or vigilante, or what, what, whether na anti court. Baba, drop him. Drop him wife, or drop him Pekin. But I begin this, you wanna drop him. Anybody give you raise, drop in Pekin or you drop in wife or drop in family. So guys, you have heard the voice note. But I have to be sincere with you. There is no gain in this fraternity violence and it does not pay at all. And I think that the best option for these groups is to look for a way to find a common ground to settle this. If not, more people might be brought down. And we are talking about people's children. Anyway, you are watching Nigerian View.